You know, uh, it's hard the way uh, things are in India right now. Uh, we were hit by a very devastating second wave. Uh, and uh, it's, it's really uh, the, the virulence of the uh, strains of the virus uh, this time were far more uh, than the first wave, uh, which is why you had a, uh, you know, a much uh, higher uh, case load as well as uh, much greater fatalities, unfortunately. But uh, uh, look, uh, at the end of the day, the, the big takeaway, which is your question, is uh, when you have a global uh, challenge, a global problem of, of this scale, uh, the, uh, the only way out uh, uh, is, is global cooperation, uh, global, global uh, mitigation in a way. Uh, so uh, uh, we've, we've, of course, uh, been dealing with this challenge. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the hospitalization issues, the oxygen issues, the, uh, the beds issues. And, and these are things which... America knows well because, you know, you went through it uh, uh, as well last year, including in the city uh, where I am in uh, New York. Uh, so, uh, you know, so when when people look at the at the television screens uh, and see what's happening in some foreign country, uh, I think there needs to be that realization that uh, this could easily happen to us. In many cases, it has happened to us. Uh, and uh, the right response is therefore to to help each other out. And I am glad to say we have seen a, a tremendous outpouring uh, of international uh, support and solidarity uh, at this time. Mm-hmm. But you know, one one is the 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 public health, the 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 uh, humanitarian uh, immediate medical response, if you would. But I think there are larger uh, issues for 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 the world order. For, for global politics in a way. Uh, today, clearly, we all need to think very much more about health security. Uh, I would argue that our sense of national security has actually uh, widened as a consequence of the pandemic. Uh, you know, we, we today, uh, whether it is medicines, whether it's vaccines, whether it's even, uh, you know, last year it was masks and PPEs uh, in, in some countries, uh, I would say even food, because the supply chains, when they were diverted, has, has made people anxious. The second is, uh, uh, I hear this term strategic autonomy increasingly, this time from the West, uh, in Europe, for example, which is, you know, that for essential things, we need to be self-sufficient, or we need to de-risk uh, our exposure, uh, that we shouldn't be over-dependent on Single geographies or uh, or one set of supply chains. So, I, I think the the post pandemic conversations. In fact, even as the pandemic is going on, the conversations are beginning to change towards more resilience, more reliability. How do you de-risk uh, the world? Uh, and uh, uh, to my mind, uh, uh, it it really makes an argument for what I would call decentralized globalization. Uh, that you have different centers of production, uh, you have uh, uh, the, the assurance that if something, God forbid, goes wrong somewhere, uh, the world will not then um, be, be so completely threatened uh, uh, as the way we have seen uh, really in the last uh, year, year and a half. Uh, there are, of course, in addition, digital lessons, but you know that's, that's a whole subject uh, in itself. 